Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins, the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans were lower on Wednesday. China did buy more than 580,000 tons of U.S. soybeans Wednesday morning, but that's less than what many in the trade had been expecting and falls short of the recent tariff waivers issued by Beijing. Past that, beans continue to keep an eye on weather stateside and in South America. Corn ended the session mostly fractionally higher. Corn, sorghum, and DGGs are all going to be a part of this limited trade deal signed with Japan on Wednesday. But stateside, even while the trade does expect some near-term harvest delays in parts of the Midwest and Plains, supply issues continue to be a big bearish factor. And wheat was mixed. Chicago and Kansas City were down on demand concerns, while Minneapolis was up on forecasts for more spring wheat harvest delaying rain in the Northern Plains. Live and feeder cattle were higher, supported by the higher midday box beef and beef's role in that limited trade deal with Japan. Hogs were higher, also supported by that limited trade deal with Japan, but keeping an eye out for any advancements with China, cash and wholesale business were positives during the session. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.